Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. Today we are talking about the brand new Avatar Elements Event Pass. For weeks now, months, we've heard about the Avatar collaboration through leaks and how this was supposed to be happening. And now it is finally here. Avatar The Last Airbender has now dropped three new outfits in the shop as well as two outfits that we'll be able to earn from this event pass. So let's talk about what you get from the event pass first. First. In order to complete this, you need to have up to 11,000 chi, which is the collectible currency that you get from completing challenges during this event pass. Purchasing this immediately unlocks the Ang outfit, as you see here. And now, this is what you get from progressing the chi. 1,000 chi gives you this spray and this emoticon. 2,000 chi gets you this back bling and this banner. 3,000 chi unlocks two free levels. 4,000 chi gives you this loading screen and this emote. 5,000 chi is another two free levels. 6,000 chi is an instrument for Fortnite Festival called the Draymond and a Momo Messenger back bling. 7,000 chi is two levels. 8,000 chi is the Cabbage Cart emote and the Ang spray. 9,000 chi is the Toph emoticon and a Staff pickaxe which I just want to say this right now, I am sorry if I pronounced that name wrong. I have been getting that wrong a lot and I'm hoping that I corrected myself properly. 10,000 Chi gives you two more free levels and 11,000 Chi unlocks Sokka's Space Sword, I think that's what it's called, and the Avatar State Ang outfit. These are all the rewards that you get. And there is also a separate thing if you complete a ton of different challenges in six different subsections, you will unlock what is called chakras, which will help you unlock the free Appa glider. The Appa glider is completely free. You do not have to buy any of these items. Nothing in the event pass needs to be bought. You can just play the game, do the challenges, and Appa is yours for free. Also, there's four banners that are hidden within this. If you complete six water chakra quests, you get the water chakra banner, six quests for the earth chakra, six quests for the fire chakra, and six quests for the air chakra, and you get banners for each of those as well. But now it's time to talk about the challenges. We have a ton of challenges to talk about for the Avatar Elements Pass. So I'm going to plop them all right on screen all at once so I don't have to do so much editing here. <laughs> Plus it's easier for you all to read. But this is what we have. The Water Chakra section. Visit an elemental shrine, deal damage to opponents with water bending, up to a thousand damage, land on water from the bus twice, receive passive healing with water bending by entering water, it sounds like 25 times. Destroy a cabbage cart, which you can find in a certain location. Restore 500 shields, survive 10 storm circles, and restore 50 health or shields. Now the weird thing about this one, they're doing it a little bit differently. For the water chakra, earth chakra, fire, all these different subsections, you also have discovery quests, which you can also do instead of these other BR challenges that will still help you progress your elements event pass. So for the discovery quests, you basically just have to get up to 325,000 XP in any creator made island in order to unlock all of that extra chi. The Earth Chakra subsection has the following quests, none of which can be unlocked until you complete at least six challenges from the Water Chakra section. Collect bars from eliminated players, 50 bars. Search five chests. Travel 100 distance while sliding. Land at an elemental shrine from the bus. There will be some new elemental shrines scattered across the map. There's going to be one for fire, there's going to be one for earth, and there's also going to be one for water. Destroy stone structures, 50 of them. Visit Mount Olympus and coastal columns. Collect three cabbages and use a rock wall and hit an opponent with throw rock. This will be another mythic that they're adding specifically for the earth element. Also, there's going to be more discovery quests that you can do in place of these challenges. The fire chakra subsection, you have to hit opponents with headshots five times, collect 200 ammo, light a campfire, destroy objects or structures at an elemental shrine, five of them, eliminate an opponent in different matches, five of them, travel distance on the train, 500 distance, destroy a cabbage cart with the firebending mythic, and deal 1000 damage to opponents with the firebending mythic. And then more discovery quests. Up next is the air chakra. This is to visit a named location in different matches three times, travel 100 distance vertically, 
travel a thousand distance while gliding, jump five times while using the air wheel mythic, deal damage to opponents with ranged weapons while airborne, 200 damage, air jump at the windmill or the other windmill, travel distance outside of named locations, 1000 distance, and land at an elemental shrine. And more discovery. Sound Chakra. Eliminate opponents with epic or better weapons twice, burst through doors in three different matches, hit opponents with fire bending and earth bending in a single match twice, use air wheel then damage opponents within 30 seconds, launch an opponent with rock wall technique and heal in water using water bending in the same match, visit shrines of every element, travel distance using either the air wheel or swimming with the water bending scroll equipped, carry one of each type of bending scroll at the same time, and discovery. Bleh. Light Chakra. Collect produce. Thank the bus driver. Collect bending scrolls in different matches. Collect fish. Hit opponents with a melee weapon. Receive a gift from the Ang, Katara, Zuko, and Toph NPCs. Visit elemental shrines in the same match and eliminate opponents with different weapon types. And again, discovery quests. That is everything that you need to know about all the stuff coming with the Avatar Elements event. I hope this was helpful. I hope you guys enjoyed. And if you want to use my support a creator code when purchasing anything for the Avatar collaboration, whether it be from the item shop or the events pass for elements, please use my code SDHD as seen on screen. Stay tuned for more Fortnite content. Later today, I'm going to have a jam track video where I'm discussing and reviewing all of the brand new songs added this week for Coachella Fortnite Festival. And next week, I'll be doing the same exact thing. See you guys in the next one.